what is going on you beautiful human being welcome back to my channel today we're reacting to undead unlock episode 7 should be really good this is going to be the fight between spoil and andy and whoever else joins in if you like undead unlock hit that like button if you like my anime reaction videos consider maybe even subscribing hit that notification bell so that you stay up to date without further ado let's jump straight into it let's go all right he just rallied all the undead which is kind of hilarious to go off this spoil and there we saw that kid but the interesting thing is gonna be this fight i feel like this is one of the the more bigger fights that we're gonna be able to see what is this oh is this under oh yes they've been doing this like narration thing so i think the last episode they started doing it so my that's my question is because they want to capture him alive right so is he gonna be okay with it you know he could just be like no they can be zombified unless if they kill him only then maybe it will be reversed but my question is still i mean we'll probably find out now but why is it that they the number on their body Body was higher than Andy is it because of a range thing because they've been like kind of on the outside outskirts of spoils radius so it's, it's a bit higher whereas Andy was right in the center oh so we're actually gonna see it now interesting unless like the younger you are the more time you have that type of thing old people like it hits them instantaneously but we'll see now the dark ball appeared of nowhere oh so he gets a kick off of spoiling things the adults turned into zombies so is my prediction right has it got to do with age that's how your number works Cause look, she's still not zombified. Oh my gosh! The teacher's that chick! Wow! As long as you have a dream, there's no way you can spoil. Oh no. wow like i've said it before but i jam so hard to the ost of this show it's 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 right up my alley it, that's like that's my kind of music i wonder how the teacher knew that he was in the church unless she just knows that the actual that statue was never there in the church before oh because she said as long as you have a dream you won't spoil so now he's getting it to think of the dream oh so it is that wow as long as you hold on to your dreams that's a really intense underlining sort of theory you know if you don't as long as you hold on to your dreams you won't spoil oh my goodness that's the i think that's gonna be the the headline not the headline the title for this video as long as you don't hold on as long as you hold on to your dreams you won't spoil but here we go and obviously adults they let go of their dreams a lot easier but then again they didn't know that he's supposed to do that oh let's go andy but why is he fighting with her in his hand they don't seem to contribute much to the battle <laughs> take care of my bride will ya so it's not like infectious in terms of but i mean they've already been spoiled they're just on a timer oh that's the teacher obviously and now fuku just like realized it but if she was still keeping on to her dream how did she spoil that's pretty sad actually wow it's actually so intense oh no she touched him to unlock but here's something that i've been trying to bring up the whole time is it not that the more she likes you the bigger the unlock right that's so that's why it was just a small plank that fell down 
Oh, the teacher, why? Wow, this is actually like really sad. Because she didn't want to die until a man took her down the aisle. So now that that's happened, her dream is complete. Oh yeah, Shen. Wow. Hot damn. I knew you were the bride for me. <laughs> this is gonna be a big one. Crushed her, but now he's gonna get crushed. Oh, he fell into like... That looked like there was bombs, I guess. It's pretty weak. Oh, the whole statue on its face. Oh, so that didn't kill it, but it just did it did damage it quite a bit. But it fell on... Why does it seem like this town is like an old western... Where you have like a store that has actual like bombs you can just buy. There's even a sign for it. And it's so like secluded from everything else. So obviously she has to like really like you to have a massive impact, right? Of un... Um, of unluck so she obviously doesn't have that connection to these zombies but a lot of them with small impacts makes a big impact now what's shen doing the whole time but this is definitely the most like the, the strongest enemy they've gone up against where it's like it's look how much work it's taking to beat it <laughs> Okay, so they have to just kill it. Oh my gosh. I wonder if we're gonna see like a big move from Andy. Like one of his strongest moves yet. Unless Fuku touches him and then he gets swallowed by the zombie. Wait, is he transforming? What is this? He's completely changed. Oh yes, because each thing has its own rules. Which is where I'm the, still the most confused. Its main body can spoil any organic matter aside from living beings. When it comes to spoiling living beings, the time it places on it has to reach zero. Okay, we know that. Oh, look at its design. Second phase. Oh my gosh, now it can just spoil on contact with its beams. Damn, the apocalypse meddling in my plans. So he's obviously cognizant. Was that a new character we see next to Mui? Why do you oppose me? To be born to spoil to return to the earth. Wow, oh my gosh. Would that not kill Andy? Oh, it only works on individual parts. Oh, so it's just his aura is just disintegrating everything. Man, that's why Apocalypse said that Spoil was the hardest mission. Oh, he's full ground and pound. The Death Negator. Oh my gosh. Isn't this the exact thing that Andy was looking for though, weirdly enough? Man, spoil is so strong. <laughs> I'm going to step away just for a second. Oh yes, the rules, right? Remember? She spoke about the 67 rules like race and time and sex and nature and 
and every three months is like a new rule and they have to keep it in order that's what the union does because we have dreams my heart will never spoil away dream oh is that the is that what beats spoil oh my gosh sick <laughs> i can't remember what they call it but that's like the rule to be the greatest in all of creation Ten thousand. Oh my gosh no don't end it wow very good episode very very good episode it's just more and more is unfolding but now you see exactly how strong spoil is and why apocalypse said this is the hardest quest out of all of them because first of all we see that he has different forms even the way he took the town in the first place he was that little basically almost looked like a helmet head from there he went to that whole angelic form where he was just kind of chilling there in the church and then the second one was the one that we saw him first fight with and then he went to kind of this whole angel of death type of form which was very interesting cool design and how his powers just increased and when you looked like he looked like a bell to be honest that was just the wings and when he got up you saw how he spread it like that very interesting very intense character but just the underlying idea the underlying theory behind everything that you know that we learned in this episode which was that as long as you have dreams you won't spoil the longer you like the stronger you feel your dreams the more time you have basically to accomplish them that is so deep and that is so intense and i'm i'm very impressed that they brought that to life through this episode because i'm always telling people about dreams and things and you know always going for your dreams and it's true you get this like boost in energy when you like when you're going for your dreams and it feels like you've got so so much time left and that's what you're seeing in this episode and it's but it's going to be interesting to see how they actually beat him fuku now just proved it by standing right in front of him i, I honestly thought she was just gonna disintegrate but it's going to be very interesting to see i'm really enjoying this anime i'm really enjoying the fact that there is more layers to it like the rules that they keep integrating to humankind i think last time juez said there were 67 rules that has been added to earth since it's um since it basically started and so now spoil was adding in a new rule and that's why she said every three months there's a new rule and that's why the union that's their role is to take care of these things and obviously they were talking about killing the god that sits on the other side and also another thing that's interesting how spoil he knew about apocalypse apocalypse meddling in my plans so everybody from the negators to the umas they all know each other and maybe obviously he knows because he's been hunted down before and they've probably tried to bring him in before so maybe that's where he knows all these people we'll still have to find out but very good episode very interesting very emotional as well just with the teacher you know you saw that she's the one who actually figured it out and that's why the kids were able to survive for so long and then she actually ended up getting her dream you know her dream was to walk down the aisle with a handsome man as she put it which was andy and then she dies she said she's not gonna die until then and then after that happened she died so it was actually kind of very emotional but anyways that's gonna be it for me if you like the episode hit the like button if you like my anime reaction videos consider subscribing with the notification bell on that's gonna be it for me thank you for watching if you're watching i'm out peace in a bit